We have seen many disaster movies over the last decade, but could this be a reality one day? In 1972, a group of scientists had written a letter to the President of the United States on their concerns towards climate change. However, the concern was not on global warming, but rather on global cooling. They thought the Ice Age was coming. Today, the ideology has changed completely. Scientists are convinced that global warming is a big threat. However, global warming invokes three different types of perceptions from people around the world. Those who believe global warming is affecting the climate. Some believe global warming does not affect the climate. And those who are unsure. But how do we know the climate is warming up? And how do we know humans are causing it? This documentary will give an overview of climate change, and why we need to act. Global warming is the rise in temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. The Sun, an energy source and provider. It can warm the Earth with the rays it emanates, which pass through the Earth's atmosphere before reflecting back to space. Layers of gases are what constitutes the Earth's atmosphere, and some are known as greenhouse gases. These gases are natural, and provide the Earth with a thermal blanket it requires by the law of nature. It is these gases that allow the rays of the Sun to retreat from the Earth's atmosphere, keeping the Earth at the right temperature, thus safeguarding the survival of the habitants of the Earth. But if extra greenhouses gases are produced, the thermal blanket will inevitably become thicker, leading to the Earth's atmosphere retaining too much heat. This could lead to unforeseeable consequences. Possible predictions are that sea levels could rise and could cause cities near coasts to flood. There's a possibility that lakes and rivers could dry up and some plants and animals might become extinct because of the heat. There is a wealth of information from various areas that promote how one can reduce their carbon footprint. From the media, to word of mouth, and now even enforcers, such as the local council that fine the household if recycling is not carried out. For individuals, recycling seems to be a very big part for them to be involved in dealing with climate change, as well as switching off the lights and appliances when not required. Investing on insulating your house and lowering your thermostat by a few degrees. There are many ways of conserving energy and it is up to the individual to make the change. Any effort by anyone helps saves the planet. But no matter if you are a believer or a skeptic of global warming, one cannot help but think about how their actions could impact our environment. And because of this arising and pressuring viewpoint, businesses now find it financially lucrative to act on environmental change, and we can see this from the immense increase of green products and services that are provided and sought after by businesses. All small businesses may not invest in companies providing their green products and services. However, they can and do initiate their actions to help reduce carbon emissions. For example, turning off appliances, such as computers every day, recycling trash, using recycled paper, and to use the public transportation system if possible. As well as carrying out such activities, large businesses may extend their efforts in reducing their carbon emission by hiring extra help from external organizations that monitor carbon emissions, and although a reduced carbon footprint is achieved, it is in most cases merely a byproduct of trying to boost their public image. Some steps taken to reduce their carbon footprint are to improve efficiency, recycling waste, switching to less energy intensive processes and buying energy from non-fossil fuel sources many of these strategies can come with increased cost which can make businesses reluctant to adopt them improving efficiency and recycling can save costs in the long term on energy and materials but usually require some capital investment and may incur higher labor costs as well
have we damaged our earth beyond repair? Is there anything we can do to reverse the effects of global warming? No one can provide a definite answer. So, where are we heading? Global warming is a subject that we cannot escape from, and yet we are witnessing in our lifetime the devastating effects of climate change, such as weather patterns and how it is affecting our health. And what of our future generations? Well, they may witness a time where wildlife is severely affected, where polar bears will not have a home, and glaciers are predicted to be gone by 2070. Climate change. Make a difference.